Welcome back, it's me, LA. Pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. I don't have coffee with me at this time when I'm recording this particular podcast. I actually have a plastic cup from a restaurant filled with water, no ice. Part four we are on. Welcome back to senior year. I'm a Bridgeport Bearcat, class of 2002 alumni. Born and raised in Saginaw, Michigan, 48601-48722. Back to senior picture day. Where I did leave off on the coloring book analogy as a small reference point to my mind frame and the framework of how I am the way I am today. Senior picture day was supposed to be an epic day for me, most euphoric, at least in that time in my life when I decided to become a young woman and make a declaration to the world through my senior pictures that, hey, I am not a child anymore. I am a young woman and it's official, not only because I was going to be 18 in a few months, I was going to be really 18 years old when we did graduate in May. I think our graduation day was between the window of May 18th through May 22nd or 26th. Nonetheless, my birthday was in March, so I was officially going to be an 18-year-old when I crossed that line to graduate, officially grown. So technically, I think I asked my mom a couple times, do I really need to show up to this graduation thing because I'm grown now? Because I honestly didn't want to go. But that's for another story. We're focusing specifically on senior pictures. It's me, LA, pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. My senior picture day was supposed to be all about me, more so than a wedding day. Senior picture day is more all about you opposed to a wedding because it's not all about you on the wedding. It's all about you and your your bride or groom whom you're marrying, right? It's a joint thing. It's not a soul thing. So senior picture day and birthdays, ow, it's all about me. What was that on, um, with Timmy Turner from the Fairy Odd Parents? They, wasn't it an episode where they had a boy band? It's all about you, girl. No, that was SpongeBob SquarePants. It was Pearl's birthday, and I think they had a boy band. It was like, it's all about you, girl, on your 18th birthday or 16th birthday, but it was funny. It's all about me, girl. Oh, my senior picture day. So, like I said, this was supposed to be about me. I wanted to be pretty. I wanted to be beautiful. I wanted my hair to be awesome. More awesome than the sorry hairstyles I settled for because I just didn't want any flack from my hairdresser and from my parents and all the other women at the hair salon. I saw a particular hairstyle that I wanted. I think it was the wrap. Back then, the wrap was the style, but I wanted the wrap that was not completely flattened down in the center part, but I do, I love some hair where it's down in the middle and, you know, center part, left, right, down, straight, as straight as possible. That's me. That's all day. I would just rock my hair like that for life, honestly, because it's simple and it's fancy enough and it's fancy. So I didn't want my hair like that, but I wanted it to be at the bottom feathered. So that meant the hairstylist was going to have to put some curls in it at the bottom, but then, you know, lightly comb it out to loosen up the curls to make it a feather wrap. That's how I wanted my hair. And I think I wanted some light bangs in the front because my hair was really long. So I didn't want my bangs to be cut, but I wanted my hair to, you know, I wanted her to use those tools to make my bangs with my long hair. I wanted long bangs in the front. Just a few, you know, light, a little light bounce to go in front of my face, not covering my eye. You know, this was the time when the grand and great Aaliyah was around. So she really set the tone for those fly A raps, you know? I am so influenced by the raps and I still love rocking that style. 
Whew, so this is how I wanted my hair to be, okay? I wanted my senior pictures to be awesome because it was about me. Um, I'm finding myself repeating myself once again. I'm just digging this up from over 20 years ago. Senior picture day was really interrupted, so by my mom accompanying me, it really put a damper on everything. I honestly would not have had senior pictures at all. I think if there was a possibility, because I took pictures a lot, let's just say this. I had a camera, one or two cameras, where I found myself taking pictures all the time around the house and of friends at school and getting involved in scenery and backgrounds in the yard and appreciating nature and stuff. I found myself spending a lot of my earned money as I grew older um, on developing roles of film. And getting excited to see how the pictures turned out. So to my knowledge, we did not have the capability to go and, you know, do our own personal photography on the Polaroid camera or a Kodak camera or those more high tech expensive cameras that you can get from Kmart for a good $50, $60 on sale. Had that been a factor, it was secretly held from me to know because I would have taken that alternative route to take my own picture somewhere because I would have felt more free to go hide and sneak and do. That sounds terrible, hide and sneak and do, because I'm not really doing anything mischievous at all. I would not have been doing anything mischievous at all. Hide, sneak and do, just to take some senior pictures that weren't gonna be risque, but that's a sad shame where I had to use hide, sneak and do, just to go take some senior pictures, because if they had found out if our school allowed us the access to go and take our own senior pictures our way without having professional studio quality, they would not have liked it because it would have probably fallen under somewhere where you have to repent. Because I don't like how you posting this picture. Why are you taking it there? Why are you taking it here? Why are you posing like that? Why are you looking like that? Why are you smiling like that? Why are your hair like that? You want to wear makeup? Why you want to wear makeup? I would have got crucified still. So I would have had to hide, sneak, and do a lot of things to take my own picture, but I probably would have still um, liked it more, way more so than my senior pictures turned out because it's, I still would have felt like I had some type of creative control, even in the area of the location of where I took the picture. No, my hair may not have looked the way I wanted it to be. Once again, I lacked the skill to do my own hair. My mom wasn't great at doing hair. She wasn't great at doing anything, honestly, and unfortunately, but being a negative Nancy and lazy. Um. But once again, like I said, I would have felt more creatively free in the fact of having control, creative control to choose my setting at least of where I took the picture. So I don't think if that was the case, senior pictures would not have been a complete bust. And I would not have been probably talking about senior pictures at all, meaning this segment because I would have had some type of satisfaction out of it to say, my senior pictures turned out all right. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but it was where I wanted. I wouldn't have felt completely gypped or robbed of uh, an experience. So let's just say that scenario was true. There probably wouldn't have been a senior, um, pod a senior picture podcast right now that you're currently hearing. I ended up wearing my homecoming dress to senior pictures. That was one of the style changes. I think I was allowed up to three style changes, a formal one, you know, which is fancy, which is why I had my homecoming dress, uh, a casual look, and one that best expressed me. You can hang that up. 
outfit that best expressed me at that time, I couldn't do it because my mom was there. I couldn't do it because I didn't have the opportunity to roam freely in the store to pick things to better express myself and enjoy looking around at the store. At the time, the store of choice for me and the store that was everything to me was Kmart. We had a Kmart at that time, so I would have would have loved for my mom to at least wait in the car while I had at least 20 to 30 minutes. Um, that's at the minimum, and that's asking for a lot because at least I would have like an hour to shop around for things that would have um, best expressed me for my creative uh, picture for seniors. That didn't happen. I had money and I was going to go somewhere. Apparently Cameron wasn't on the docket Let's just say I have plans, but sometimes when my plans get rudely interrupted, that shatters the whole thought process of what I planned in general. And I totally forget what I had thought of at that, in that moment. And all I see is the options that are in front of me since the plans that we're planning got shattered. I no longer see them. I only see what's left in front of me. Having said that, I decided to go to the mall. And me wishing my parents weren't jackasses because that's the natural innocence of it all with human nature to cleave to your mom and dad. I'm using the wrong word, but to want to have your parents naturally and organically involved in your life like the TV shows are. My dad, of all people, asked if he could tag along with me when I went senior clothes shopping. And in that moment, I was excited because he actually wanted to hang out with me. And I got caught up in that moment. But when I got to the mall, I instantly regretted it because I forgot, this is my dad. Why do you want to come with me to senior shopping day? So that really 86 the plan of me wanted to take my time and look around in the mall at every single store there. And possibly look for some um, girl stuff. Because my dad was there. He's a male. And he's like a... <sighs> Let me use my words carefully. He's a low-key dog in nature. A low-key Christian dog in nature. He may not act it out. But his energy still exudes that. He's a son of a B-I-T-C-H. And I can only say that how he treated his mom. My, my, my mom and us. If he meant well, he had a, a harsh way of showing it. So in my mind, I'm like, dang, my dad here, I'm glad, but now that screws up even the plans I had to really take my time. I don't even think I had work that day to look around and shop at each store because I felt more comfortable going to the mall when I had money in my pocket. I didn't.